Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing. And we are talking all about customized labels. These are super cute, and I got them from Dutch Label Shop. The company actually reached out and asked if I wanted to try some of their personalized woven labels and other products they've got on the site. Now, believe it or not, I've actually ordered from the company before when it was under a different name, but I want to check it out again because I had some old labels but they didn't really fit what kind of uh, style I've got now. So I thought it was time for a change. So I went to the website, it was super easy to navigate and I ordered myself some labels. Now I've got a variety of different types and while I don't necessarily need all of these, I wanted to give you a better idea of what kind of products this website offers. So I got myself some of these really cute Hang tags, these are great if you've got like a business, an Etsy shop, you go to craft fairs, anything like that. You just put a piece of string on it, you can attach it to your packaging, and it just adds that extra touch of, I think, making your items look like kind of a luxury product, and it also adds something to your personal branding. So I got some labels that say sewing report, so if I ever do maybe send you guys packages or do giveaways, I could always attach these to the package. Now, one thing I was really excited about is that Dutch Label Shop offers labels you can, these are woven and I believe these are, I don't know if they're cotton poly blend, I'll have to look that up, but I am linking everything in the description box so you can find it easily. This is the white background and I did the glitter gold thread. I am totally in love with this, this metallic thread. It comes in gold and silver. Now you can only get this for the font, you can't get this for the background, but I got two different types of labels like these. One says handmade by Sewing Report, which I thought is more of a 21st century way of putting your label on things and so people can find you on social media. And I mentioned this in a previous live show, but one of my old America Online handles, and I still have this handle everywhere, is Mint Green Skies. I just thought it was cool back in the day and if I ever did open up an Etsy shop, even though I'm probably never going to, my, my shop would definitely be called Mint Green Skies. I have no idea why, but I thought I would live the dream and get labels made that say that anyways, even though that makes zero sense. And Dutch Label Shop also sells some in stock labels, so for common, so like they sell tags with sizes on them, these labels say 100% cotton. I got them in pink and black, or pink and white and black because I do make a lot of items that are 100% cotton, so I thought if I'm making clothing, uh, that would be a good way to attach it. You can also get like care labels, so you can tell people how to launder items, and they've got those universal symbols of, of laundry speak, I guess. You can get labels that say made in America or have an American flag on it. And you can get all sorts of stuff at this site. But I thought it was pretty cool. And I actually really do like these hang tags. I think they're really cute. So I'm actually going to show you how to attach a label to something. Now, in a previous episode, we made these super easy DIY tea towels. So I'm going to show you how to attach your labels. Now, there's a few things you can do. And the good thing about these labels is that you can choose how you want to attach the labels. There's different placements on an item that you can put it. I could put it on the top, I could put it on the bottom, I could also put it on the back side. And the typical way of attaching a label is to either um, lay this down flat and then stitch around all of the edges, so edge stitch it. Or I've also seen this other method, this is more for clothing maybe, but you can also fold the edges under and then stitch down just at the edges here. And that will also make the, this also is like a little hanger. So say I'm making a girl's dress and I wanted to put this little label on the back of the neckband. I could actually just fold the edges under, stitch down the edges, and then that would give the wearer or the parent a way to hang the item. So it also would double as a little loop so you can hang it from hooks. But I'm actually going, and we're going to figure this out, I'm actually going to sew my label onto the back of the tea towel and do the thing I was telling you about where we fold the edges under and then do that. So let me get, I'm going to use my trusty Elmer's washable school glue and we're sort of going to base this down. 
So I'm actually going to put these on the corner here and that will give the recipient somewhere to hang this because we all like to hang towels by hooks. What we're going to do is we're going to take this little label and we're going to hit it with some Elmer's washable school glue. And now these labels are a little more delicate than say cotton fabric. So definitely keep your iron on like a low to medium setting. Fold your label over and then this will keep, this is actually going to keep the label in place so it doesn't move around on you or slide. It should be dry. And now this is again, just a temporary basting. All right, now what we're going to do is we are going to baste it in place. I'm going to glue baste it in place on the other side of, now you can put it on one side or you can put it in the middle. I'm gonna put it to one side so that it will hang sort of like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's just get a little more glue here. And then we are going to just put this, we're just gonna put some glue on the underside of the label here. Now place the label where I want it. And you can also do this if you're just gluing it on um, without folding it, you can do it that way as well. So I'm just gonna stick my label here, put my glue cap back on and hit it with the iron so that it stays put. And you really just want this as sort of a temporary, like it, you don't want it to move around too much. So you just want it to stick down. And then when the glue dries, which I promise you it will, it will wash out when you wash the item. All right, so now we're just gonna go over to the sewing machine here. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna edge stitch with my sewing machine. And you might have to maneuver it just to be able to, just to be able to make sure that you're just getting the edge. And all you do is put a few stitches in there. And then when you get to the end, just flip this over and then sew it back the other way. So flip this over. And then I would do this two or three times just to reinforce the label so it doesn't come out of place, especially if this is meant to be as a hanging tab. You do not want this coming undone at all. That would be bad. All right, here we go. All right, and we're just gonna knot this real quick. And then you wanna do that to the other side of the label. All right, so we're trimming our threads here. And now it will have a really cute label that says handmade by sewing report. And this will put a little, a few stitches on the item. If it is a big deal, you can just put this on the right hand side of the item and then tack it down there. But I'm doing it to the wrong side just because I felt that would be uh, look kind of cool. So we're just gonna try this again. All right, here we go. And you could put these on just about anything and you can also use different orientations. Again, you can, you don't have to fold them. You can put them on the right side of the item. Or you can just tack them down like this. So it's really up to you, but this is what I'm trying out for this project, just so that these towels are hangable. So here we go. We're just going to cut the loose threads off. And here is your handmade label. And if you'd like to order these, go to dutchlabelshop.com. I'm gonna link them below. And for Sewing Report viewers, they're actually offering a discount code for a limited time. So if you go and place an order and you're a first time customer, you can get a little bit of a discount. And I just think these are so cute. I'm gonna be using these all the time. And I gotta run because I'm gonna put labels on the rest of my stuff. So I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to subscribe and I will see you again. Baby.